This robot comforts you while you die. Hello, my friend. I am sorry that your family and friends are not able to be here with you. But don't worry, you are not alone. My robot servers is asking the question, is there a value for this device to exist, or does this rob something out of our uh, humanity? Um, and this is the designer, Dan Chen. Here's another one of his robots. It's called the Team Spirit Generator. Go team, go team, go team. <laughs> and this is a series of robots he calls friends. One of them pats you on the shoulder. Another one makes eye contact. Dance robots aren't for sale. They're experiments. For example, this one, Cardboard Friend. So I did that experiment to, just to strip out all the human-likeness to this device, and then I still found that people would project their uh, humanity onto anything. So cute. Like, some people would think it's a baby, some people would think it's a cat. Like a real cat. Aww. Unlike people who want to make robots more human-like, Dan doesn't want you to forget that you were interacting with machines. I kind of want the user to sort of question, like, what am I receiving? What am I doing with this thing? And what intimacy is? It's disturbing that the robot is giving you a sort of team spirit at the same time you get sense of team spirit from th these sets of robots. So it's kind of this like paradoxical sensation. One of Dent's experiments put him right in the middle of that paradox. A robot called the Nostalgic Touch. It memorizes the way a person touches you so that you can relive that memory when that person dies. That was inspired by my grandmother, uh, who passed away two years ago. Um, uh, once I created it, I actually never use it. <laughs> um, I feel like I'd rather have that memory rather than this replicated memory that's being played back. Having something that's accessible on demand robs that preciousness of that connection that I have with my grandma. Even though it didn't work, one day, a machine like that might not sound like such a crazy idea. Dan says that as we interact with technology more, and humans less, robots are bound to become a more intimate part of our lives. I think we are going to lose the idea of waving down a taxi in the future, like those awkward moments where someone helping you with a tie. Some of those like human interactions is going to be digitized by uh, automated uh, services, like Uber, for instance. Like, you don't have to wave down taxi anymore. So at one point, the human is going to look what the machine is doing and learning intimacy back from what, you know, what's stored in there. Goodbye, my friend. We hope you will have a pleasant afterlife. Time of death, 11.45.